personally i feel like these are the things we should talk about we should be taught in school when you have a baby this is gonna happen i've never never been taught about these things but i've learned throughout my pregnancy feels like a brand new space a lot but it's a new face yeah. had to choose a brand new way show, yeah. baby girl you make the right choice hello welcome back to my channel it's your girl back at it again with another video if you're new to my channel hi i am yt you can call me winchi whatever you prefer it's you so welcome to my channel and subscribe like and comment if you are a returning subscriber welcome back to my channel and i hope you stay longer continue staying baby okay so i know that you guys have been expecting mommy video from me because like for obvious reasons right I know, I know. I didn't give you uh, mommy content for obvious reasons still. <laughs> but I'm here. I have my body changed after pregnancy, you see. So, okay. Um. Firstly, what I'm going to say is that um, ever since I got pregnant and my body changed, she, she, my body changed and it felt like one of those changes and everything, like experiencing new things, I literally looked back into the, my old photos that I had, my videos, I'm like, I always worried about my, my boobs, I always worried about this, I always worried about my tummy, like, feel like they're too big, feel like, oh, I should have better, like, I, and I was like, girl, you are spoiled, like, you are perfect, you are good, you, you, like, you are good, why were you worrying? <laughs> So I, I, I was like, oh my God, I had everything that I wanted. And I was out there like, um, not thanking God, complaining all the time, you know. Bottom line is, appreciate yourself, appreciate your body. And this whole experience has taught me to like, appreciate my body. I love, love my body more than I ever thought I would. I appreciate my body more than I ever thought. So before. I'm just going to run you through the things that I ha that have changed. Like uh, for now, I'm gonna do body wise, right? That things that I have changed ever since I got. Okay. First of all, my weight went up there. My weight went up there. It was between 55 and 60 kg, you know, but then the last uh the last time i weighed myself when i was pregnant was the time i went for delivery and i was 85 kg so that means like i gained 65 two hours later so i gained four kg of course i had like big oof, oof, oof. like my nose was this big everything was just so big Everything was not like I was became a bigger. When I was pregnant, yeah, I can say like they became bigger and firm, and like, you know, like oh, they lift and become firm and and that's like that. But when you give birth, they they become more humongous. Well, good only are humongous, especially when you breastfeeding. Because I don't know if our when people when you're not breastfeeding, because I've never experienced it, right? I was breastfeeding and my breast will, will get so big, like this, this big, this big. And I, my pants right now, they don't fit me. Right now, like, I feel like, uh, right now they have reduced and, but they haven't yet reduced, reduced because I'm still, um, uh, leaking. They're still not, um. Uh, reduced to the size that they weigh i don't know if they'll get back to the size they wear but i'm still leaking and i'm so to see yeah boobs get bigger they get saggy they won't get back ah let me talk about me they didn't get back like you see they didn't get back to like to be like this you know and most people i know the breasts don't get back to being like this they become like this they look down on you I don't know why 
you look down on us. We're coming to this part here. I'm not gonna show you guys. I'm not gonna show you guys, but I'm gonna make an entirely different video about my tummy. During pregnancy, it's cute and whatever. Like you take pictures and like oh, blah, blah, blah. but then you get to that moment. Uh, I I had like a very beautiful tummy. Like it was so cute. No such marks. It was super 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 cute. And then I got to I get some yoga job or something and then I have a somewhere there. <laughs> and then the changes were so drastical. I, it changes drastically. I developed uh, stretch mats. And I was like, okay, that went bad. Eight months, another one. Got it every week, every week, every week, every week. Very difficult. I, I don't want to I don't want to tell you guys that I didn't do anything about it. Ever since I, like I found out I was pregnant, I was using bio oil. I was using blue silver, the Vaseline. I was using everything that everybody was like suggesting for like apply this as soon as possible as soon as you know that you're pregnant because um there's a possibility that you might uh get stretch marks you know so i was using the ah, so it's not a matter of you using whatever you're using maybe it is my my tummy was too big or my mom didn't have stretch marks she told me that she didn't have um i don't know it's a matter of genes you know I don't know it's a matter of the of the of the creator of god and then after delivery your tummy gets saggy you know do you remember how i told you guys that this gets saggy your tummy gets saggy too and then like do you know like dark 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 like it 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 that's how it gets it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it doesn't matter how light you are after delivery it gets black very your tummy had expanded so for after birth uh i don't know i don't know how to explain it but after birth your tummy gets so black for you to get uh your tummy back um but the blackness though the blackness for me it had it um disappeared after i think after a month after a month and a week i was able to wear crop tops because i still had stretch marks and there was the same color as my skin um, the, the blackness had gone away so but the stretch marks they take they they really take their own time to like wear off your tummy i've used a lot of stuff i bought bio oil nutrition oil uh everything that is to do with removing the stretch marks because like i'm literally a crop top girl and i cannot say otherwise and i wasn't seeing myself uh, at first i wasn't seeing myself wearing crop tops and whatever's because the way my tummy was like guys yo mm. and it stressed it it, it really stressed me, stressed me so much so much i was like oh my god i'm gonna i'm never gonna wear uh, crop tops or whatever but then like if you see my latest video my latest vlog you see that i'm wearing a crop top and i'm like i'm free and i'm feeling good about my body and stuff, stuff like that so it takes time but eventually it fades away. My search marks are still there. That had, that had changed uh, during pregnancy is that there is a certain darkening that happens. Um, here, you become dark here. Um, where again, your, your, and the arms becomes darker, and then your bum becomes darker. And then, uh, yeah, you become, it, come, it becomes uncomfortably dark like the and there's nothing you can do about it <laughs> there's literally nothing you can do about it so if you get pregnant know that that those things you have to deal with and you have to like um, make peace with because at the end of the day you're gonna receive a little human being you know it's so cute <laughs> and then another surprisingly awkward thing that happened to me is that my feet grew now like what happened i literally don't know what happened <laughs> but
Like my faith crew. Should I say that? Did I gain weight to my faith? Or did they grow? I don't know. Keep calls. I'll try to find pictures and show you guys how my face was slim. I am one person who don't get so many pimples and I had like a very smooth face. I had my days, you know, where I, I had pimples and stuff like that. But most of the time, my face was just smooth and I was used to that. And then I got pregnant. Oh, sorry. And then I got pregnant and I started developing pimples. If like a lot lots and lots a lot of pimples so i decided to just leave my my face be i just decided to like live in the moment with those pimples and just acknowledge them and be with them at that moment so <laughs> and yeah i'll cut i'll i will do a, another video too uh on how i got my face back to where it kind of was um before after pregnancy. I had full hair. My hair didn't shed. Like I had full head of hair. Like my hair was full. All the big and things like that. Oh no, like I was it like it was full, 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 full. And the lady who was plating was like, Whoa, your hair is good now. <laughs> because the first time she started plating me, I didn't have hair here, so like it was embarrassing. It is embarrassing. So like after that, after pregnancy, uh, um, basically, you're gonna have a postpartum patient. Sadly, I'm experiencing that because it's not like it's used to be. It's not. I lost my hair. I lost my hair, girl. If you are here, you are ex an expecting mom, you are aspiring to be a mommy. You are, you are having a mummy fever, like, I don't know how you're going to take this, but these are the things that you should um, be expecting. But all in all, us women, we are very different. We have different experiences. Uh, some have, might have experienced a, a better experience than me or a much worse experience than me. So... I was just sharing with you guys what I experienced during my pregnancy and I hope you guys um, learned from this. If you are a mommy out there, just comment down below on the things that I have said and papa papa have a feed guys. Like, am I the only one who's feed grew? <laughs> I know. No. Then another thing that had happened and it was my first first i've never i've never heard anyone and that hey can i like this happened to me here when i was pregnant and stuff. developed uh what is called the tongue ulcer because i had pictures 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 in my time and it at some point it was like it, it was not um giving me any trouble but at some point it was not comfortable eating most of the time so like and then i met this other doctor I was like um the reason why you have that is because like the hormones you have like so many hormones like he told me that um after pregnancy it will wear off and then after giving birth i waited for a week and it was still there i was like am i gonna live the rest of my life with pictures in my tongue <laughs> And then I went back to um, midwife who was helping me um, after the pregnancy and stuff. And I was like, ma'am, I had this um, patients while I was pregnant. And the doctor told me that it would wear off after pregnancy. And why it was this? So, yeah, she gave me this. She gave me this medication. In case you have the same problem. It helped a lot. It really held my tongue. Let me tell you that. But the candle, oh, I cannot read. Just read for yourself. My tongue right now is back to normal. I'm currently three months postpartum. My baby girl is three months. Don't talk to me like that. Don't talk to me like that. Okay? Uh, 
so thank you so much for watching this far and if you did and you're not subscribed please do subscribe to my channel uh so that you become part of our family and that you like the video and if you watch this far please drop a red heart red heart in the comment section please red heart to show that you have watched till the end bye see you guys in another video